Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a multiple mandala shirt that I'm going to ice dye in the muck. The shirt was washed and dried, soaked in a soda ash solution for at least 20 to 30 minutes. I wrung it out of my panda spin dryer so it's just barely damp. I also have the shirt turned inside out. I'm going to put one main mandala on the front of the shirt and so I want to put it in the middle. So to find the middle of the shirt, I'm folding my shirt in half marking both the top and the bottom with a washable marker. Then I'm going to grab those two marks that I made, lift my shirt up off of the table and give it a little bit of a shake just to isolate the front of the shirt. Then I'm going to fold the shirt in half and mark where the middle of the shirt is. I'd like to add the mandala a little bit above the middle, so I'm going to make another mark where I'd like the middle of the mandala to be. Then using that top mark as the middle, I'm going to fold the front of the shirt in half again. Putting my finger on the corner, I'm going to take one side of the shirt and fold it down toward that middle seam. Flip the shirt over and do the same thing with the other side. So I'm basically beginning a paper airplane type fold. So I have all my folds on one side and I just have two folds on the other side. Beginning on the side that just has two folds, I'm going to make another fold toward the middle on each side. Using the washable marker, I'm going to make a mark up where the neck of the shirt is so that I don't make my mandala too large. Using sinew, I'm going to make one little wrap down at the very end and pull it tight. I'm going to try to make this mandala fairly random. So I'm alternating between sides and I'm grabbing or pinching a little bit of fabric and doing a couple small folds in it and tying it with sinew. I'm using sinew because when I tighten it down, it forms a waterproof barrier that won't allow the dye underneath the sinew line. That's what will give the white definition lines in this design. I'd like to add some other mandalas to the back of the shirt, so I'm going to find an area where I'd like to place another mandala, flatten out a portion of that space, then begin my airplane folds again. I'm folding the bottom up and the top down, then I'm going to pinch that seam, lift the shirt up, and fold it in half at the same time. Just like on the front mandala, I'm going to do one more fold on each side. Thank you. 
I want these to be random again. So I'm going to put just a little bit of sinew right at the very end. Then I'm going to randomly fold the shirt to either side like I did on the front. I'm doing the initial folds the same way on the mandala portion. But when I go to tie the sinew, I really want to try to do it pretty random. I'm going to repeat this process two more times on the back of the shirt. The rest of the shirt, I'm just going to crumple up and hold those folds in place with some rubber bands.
I'm gonna ice dye this shirt down in the muck, and so I've placed the shirt down inside of a container that is just about the same size as the shirt is. It's fitting down in here nice and tight. I'd like to add the dye over the top of the ice, so I'm gonna add a layer of ice to the top of the shirt. Since the mandalas are thick, I wanna make sure I add plenty of ice so that I have plenty of muck for the shirt to sit in. I'm beginning by adding a generous sprinkle of ice blue from Pro Chemical and Dye over the top of the ice. I'm gonna do the same thing with Midnight Blue from Grateful Dyes. I'm touching up by adding a little bit of ice blue in areas where I don't have enough dye. Then I'm gonna add a generous sprinkle of soda ash over the top of the dye. This is just so that as the ice melts and runs through the shirt, I make sure I have plenty of soda ash left in the shirt to react with the dye. Then I'm gonna set this container aside where it won't be disturbed at all for at least 24 to 48 hours. I think I left this one about 48 hours. Then I took the shirt to my sink and began rinsing in cold water to get out any remaining soda ash. Then I gradually warmed the water up to hot to help remove any of the excess dye that had not bonded with the fabric. After untying the shirt, I went ahead and added some hot water to my sink and just a couple of drops of Blue Dawn dish soap. I soaked the shirt in the hot water and dish soap and continued that process until most of the excess dye was removed and the water was almost clear. Then I threw the shirt in the washing machine and I washed it using hot water and a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent. Put it in the dryer and this is what our shirt looks like. I really like the dark blue color. I think it makes the mandalas really stand out. The mandalas are definitely random, which is what I was going for. And I even like the purple splits that we got from the midnight blue. If you've enjoyed watching this video, I sure would appreciate it if you'd hit the big red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.